they got me. I think a lot of people are really, really interested again in what is going on with Wyckoff's adventures or trailer. A bunch of stuff's been posted on multiple social medias. The full story isn't out there. And the other side has made some statements, which we will, I'll, I'll briefly mention in a bit. Now, what is going on with people? I think a lot of people are hoping for a tell-all live stream. I think people are hoping for a live stream to really show off what has happened and maybe a video showing any current changes to the actual trailer. Because remember, the last time we really got a good look at the trailer was probably back in Florida months and months ago when they were living in the uh, state park. And now we know a converter didn't work. They couldn't even close the awning. They had a uh, tire, which looked like it had maybe like a steel wire coming out of it or starting to protrude from it. And they had to get a tire replaced. Like there's probably other things like do the drawers, you know, are they sticking? Is the, is the oven still working? Is the sink sinking anymore? If you don't remember that, the sink was sinking. There's like a lot of little things that could be in a video. But I think most people are really hoping we get a nice tell-all live stream, a long one, finally. But why? What, what is the, what, what is, what has got people's interest? Well, you see the Wyckoff's Adventures team have left Loveland's Lakeside Camp and Market, and it seems a lot of anger has been brewing at least since Memorial Day. Now, why do I say that? Well, Nikki's mom said some things publicly. Uh, for example, shortly after Memorial Day, it was posted, this is not Brian and Nikki's camp. They own no part of it. They will be going back from where they came from. Uh, what else was there said? She also said that no more parties at Little Tom Lovelands Lakeside Camp and Market does not exist. They are gone. That's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, that's severe. Uh, that's a very angry wording. Uh, things like one of those kayaks is mine. You need to leave it here. Why don't you go get a GoFundMe? And all poor things quit lying. Now the Wyckoffs did uh, respond, but didn't really go into detail and basically said that it'll come out later. That's what people want the live stream for. So what has been put out, and I do highly recommend you check out the channel, I'll have it in the pinned comment for you. Well, we had a quick look at the trailer and some issues with it. Uh, there's been a, quite a bit of mention between Facebook and YouTube about not getting paid. Not getting paid has been a uh, recurring repeated statement, it seems, with maybe the disagreement. But we don't know for sure, but it was definitely brought up in uh, a not happy manner a few times. Latest video. They have revamped the Lovelands Lakeside Camp and Market Facebook page to be Lovelands Market. And there's also a video for Lovelands Online Market is the wording they use. And that they are not, are not going to be at that location. Their market is going to be online selling jerseys, shoes. I think basically what their Whatnot store had. I, I don't know if this is an extension of the Whatnot store or the Wyckoff store. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with the Lovelands Lakeside Camp and Market uh, branded merch they bought because I think they bought some because um, from my understanding it's going back to Little Tom's Fish Camp or at least that's what it sounds like but uh, they, they don't have a place to go they they don't have a plan from the sounds of it um, and I've seen rumblings of people who are very interested again now of course the drama right the drama will bring people in as long as you know Eventually, an explanation is given. Um, that's not really, I'm sure, what they wanted people to tune in for, but it gets eyes on the channel. Uh, people are interested in where will they go, what will they do, are they going to start traveling? Because a, a big complaint that happened for people that used to watch is, um, I don't want to put this, the channel will go through cycles, for example, like they were doing the park they lived in the park the internet service wasn't that great we didn't get lives for many lives for months until finally we got a few with the haunted house and then they were at the camp and the internet wasn't great so people are kind of hoping that hey maybe we'll get like some travel live streams travel videos um i know queenie 
Queenie's made some bold claims about her live streams. I've never live streamed on YouTube, but according to Queenie, the money is uh, top tier. Uh, very good from live streaming per, per view on, uh, on, 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 loot, on live stream views. Um, I would assume that in the travel trailer niche in the middle of summer, in an election year, that live streams could possibly be very, very lucrative. Uh, but I don't know for sure. That would definitely be something they'd have to, they, they, they'd know after they did a live stream, right? Um, but a lot of, a lot of intrigue, a lot of interest, a lot of people with their eyes back on it. A lot of people, you know, you know, it's just like anything else. They're, they're, they're not, they're, they're definitely hating on it, right? But someone hating on it, that's views, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, right? Um, I'm interested though. They've got me, they've got me because... As soon as they had Starlink, they had me interested. I was waiting for a live stream at the camp, walking around or like driving around or just sitting in the trailer. And I didn't really, they didn't really, I think they did one, one test one. Um, and I don't think they've done a whatnot live stream since they've been at the camp. So that's kind of a, kind of a bummer. Um, I didn't tune into all of those, but I got like a small portion of the second one. So I really wanted to sit down and get to watch a full one. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I, there's, there's certain things I like to watch that I will, uh, put in the background for, you know, personally, if I'm on a computer and I, I, I can multitask and one of them I used to put on a lot were the white cogs. They would be just driving places and doing whatever. It'd be three or four hour live stream and I would. I would see their live, and I would watch for three to four hours. I wouldn't say anything in chat, but it was a view, and I would listen and watch, and that would keep me entertained. And I have missed it. So personally, personally, I'm hoping we don't just get a tell-all live stream and then go back to videos. I would like to see more live streams in general from the channel. I'm interested. I am. I'm personally very interested in how the trailer is... Uh, surviving I, I had worries i had worries about it uh ultralight and uh some of those worries seem to have been founded with uh issues <laughs> of course right after the warranty's gone because from my understanding they have an extended warranty but it it's so annoying that it's not worth using for most things i don't know exactly with the warranty uh he did he, they alluded to something like that before but again we never really got a got a full story they just said don't buy the extended warranty um, I, 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 I don't know where they'll go. I don't know what the plan is. I can't tell you what the plan is. Uh, all I can say is that the mother was not shy in calling them out. And they have been a lot more reserved in flipping it back. But I don't know if that'll hold. <laughs> 